I recently attended a private screening of a film about the life of Charlie Trotter with his sister and foundation members. Mr. Trotter, uh, his life paralleled the life of Chicago in the late 80s and 1990s. It was a story of dynamic individuals who defined Chicago as a place uh, which was a center for both business and culture. I remember driving down Lakeshore Drive with a friend of mine headed toward the community garden one sunny summer afternoon and on the radio, they reported about a, about a lawsuit against Mr. Trotter for yelling at a bunch of school kids in his restaurant. I remember thinking, oh, that, that doesn't sound good. Something's, something's wrong. And about two weeks later, Mr. Trotter died. I, I really don't know when the party ended here in Chicago. We were all having the time of our lives, and then suddenly we weren't. Somewhere on our drive down Lakeshore Drive, life took a detour. Welcome, welcome to Sunday Coffee Hour. I'm Stanley Smith at Sunday Coffee Hour. We talk about everything and, and nothing. This week we talked about being pure Chinese, the end of volunteering, going to India, training a dog and being lost in no reality. The readings at Washington National Cathedral were from Colossians. Set your mind on the things that are above. And from Matthew, when you look into the tomb, what, what are you looking for? It was Easter. At Washington National Cathedral, Bishop Mary and Buddy preached about everything, everywhere, all at the same time. Easter, Passover, and Ramadan. It's the synchronicity of faith. Mary Ann said we all need to participate in the scandal of particularity instead of being on someone else's hamster wheel. Christ is universal. We all need to believe in something to the best of our ability and not apologize for it. We need to acknowledge the path that has chosen us. And here, in our own particular way, and be aware that others are hearing it in their own particular way. We all have our own unique encounter. At Riverside Church in Rockford, Illinois, Pastor Bobby Sheets preached about seeing things differently, he, and he gave us concrete examples of seeing reality differently. He used a card trick, he shared the uh, art of the ancient art of kinsuri, which is joining together a broken piece of pottery with, with gold. And he also shared the, did you see the gorilla in the video as examples? Things are not always what they seem to be, even when we try really, really hard to see it in a particular way. At St. James Cathedral, Lisa preached about having our own earthquake moment. We, we all have one, and it's in these moments that we probably see God's love best. Lisa shared the example of her own personal earthquake moment without sharing any of the details, because the important part of the story for her and for us is not the facts of our lives, but the moment, the moments that we feel and experience love. Is that what we're looking for when we look into the tomb? Looking in there from our objective reality, reality, we see the subjective reality of love looking back at us. It's no wonder. It's also terrifying. In the story of Char Charlie Trotter, we learned that in college, he was something of an adherent of Ayn Rand, which could point to the idea of atheism. Also, his lifelong reluctance to seek medical attention could point to perhaps the idea that he was a Christian scientist. While watching the film in this time of Easter, Passover, and Ramadan, uh, it all had me thinking about Charlie and you know what his faith background might be. And just then, at the end of the film, his funeral rolled into the Fourth Presbyterian Church of Chicago. We, we were having 
a fun time here in Chicago. We had Charlie Trotter, we had Oprah, the Bulls, and the Daily Machine. It was all it was all working just fine. Charlie Trotter was the first chef ever to establish the table in the kitchen experience, the chef's table or diners. When the city inspector came, he told Mr. Trotter the table was in violation and it would have to be removed. Mr. Trotter said, well then, I guess I'll be moving my restaurant to another city. The inspector quickly changed his tune and said, well, how about moving the table just a, a few inches this way or that way? It was an example of the city that works and it did work for a long time until suddenly one day driving along Lakeshore Drive, the, the party seemed to be over. I guess it's the difference between going for a drive and being on a journey. If you would like to join us at Sunday Coffee Hour, Sunday Coffee Hour is every Sunday at 12 noon central time. I will include my email in the description of this video. I'll be happy to send you an invitation. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.